Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something incredibly exciting in the world of AI music generation. The, the newly released A-Step. This is a state-of-the-art open-source foundation model from A-Studio and StepFun, and it's really setting a new standard for speed, coherence, and flexibility in AI-powered music creation. What makes A-Step so remarkable? Well, for starters, it's blistering speed. It can generate up to 4 minutes of high-quality music in just 20 seconds on an NVIDIA A100 GPU, making it around 15 times faster than many LLM-based models. Even on consumer GPUs like an RTX 4090, you can get a minute of audio in as little as 1.74 seconds. Beyond just speed, A-Step excels at producing musically coherent and natural-sounding tracks, maintaining structural integrity across melody, harmony, and rhythm. The flexibility is also a huge draw. It supports end-to-end -end generation of complete songs including melody accompaniment and lyrics in an impressive 19 languages and across a wide variety of genres like pop, rock, electronic, and jazz. It also boasts features like vocal cloning, lyric editing and remixing, track separation, and style transfer. You can guide the generation with natural language descriptions, style tags, or direct lyric input. And for more advanced users, it even supports LoRa and ControlNet fine-tuning. A major plus is that A-Step is released under the Apache 2 license. This is fantastic because it means you can freely use, modify, and redistribute the model for both commercial and non-commercial projects. Later in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to install the A-Step Gradio project and download the model to run it locally on your own machine. But before we dive into that manual installation process, I quickly want to let you know that if you're looking to skip all the setup steps and get A-Step running on your Windows machine with just one click, I've developed a dedicated one-click installer which is available over on my Patreon page. This installer takes care of all the necessary dependencies and includes convenient startup files to make managing and launching the project incredibly straightforward. My Patreon also offers a growing library of other exclusive installers and guides, including for popular text-to-speech projects like Orpheus TTS, and a range of easy-to-use ComfyUI one-click installers that cover various open-source AI programs for video generation, LoRa training, and voice cloning. So if that sounds like it could save you some time and effort, feel free to check it out. You'll find the link in the description below. Also, for my YouTube members, I recently released a step-by-step -step video tutorial on a groundbreaking AI video player. This player allows you to translate and dub videos in near real time using local AI models. You can check it out in the YouTube members section. Alright, so if you're one of my Patreon members and decided to go the route with the one-click installer, installation will be quite easy. You can simply download the A-Step Music Windows batch file from the Patreon post, then click it to install the project. This will automatically download and install the project's GitHub repository and all of its necessary dependencies locally on your Windows device. Once that's complete, you can start up the project using the newly created quick start file located in the project's directory folder. Once the local host URL of the project shows up in the terminal window, you can copy that URL link, the one usually ending in 7865, and paste it into your browser to access the web user interface. That's pretty much it a super streamlined way to get going. Now, regardless of how you installed it, you'll be welcome to the A-Step Gradio web user interface, which is our control center for generating full-length songs using this powerful new model. To start generating a basic song, you'll want to head over to the Tags section in the UI. Here, you'll input descriptive and supportive tags that accurately describe the song you would like to generate. You can put things like the genre of the song, instruments that will be used, and even the tempo and overall feel of how you want it to sound. Once you have your tags in, we can focus on the lyrics you want to include. For these, you can either write your own original lyrics or use an LLM like ChatGPT or Google Gemini to help generate lyrics for the song. Just head over to your preferred LLM website. Describe to the model what kind of song you're making, and instruct it to create lyrics for this song. Perhaps using the default example lyrics in the A-Step UI as a guide for structure. Once you have your lyrics, copy and paste them into the lyrics section of the UI, 
but make sure they follow the proper structure tags, as highlighted in the notes or examples provided in the UI. Now from here you could actually start your generation with no issues, but the UI also comes with a variety of different settings you can play around with to further tune your generated song. For instance, if you want to edit the length of the song, you can adjust this in the audio duration option, which is usually found above the main input areas. By default, a value like minus one often means a random duration. You can also navigate down to the basic settings to adjust parameters such as the amount of inference steps you want the model to take during generation. Increasing this can possibly improve quality, but it will come at the cost of longer generation times. You can tweak the guidance scale for the song and the lyrics, which dictates how strictly the model should adhere to your tags and lyrics, and also set a seed value, which by default is often set to none or random. For more advanced tweaking, you can toggle the advanced settings tabs to further tune your generation with parameters like the scheduler and CFG. I haven't gone around to fully exploring those myself, so I'd probably advise keeping those at their default values unless you really know what you're doing. The project also comes with a few more features, and if you want more detailed information on everything it offers, you can find it on the project's GitHub repository. Once you have your settings dialed in to your liking, you can click the Generate button, usually located at the bottom of the page. Upon the first generation, the project will most likely still need to download the core model files in the background, but after that initial download, it should begin generating the audio. On my own setup, using an RTX 4056 GB VRAM laptop, I was able to generate a 3 to 4 minute song in about 10 to 15 minutes using the default settings, which is quite manageable. However, there are reports of generation times being only a few seconds for a 1 minute audio track on a high-end card like an RTX 4090, which is truly amazing. Once the song is done generating, you can play it right there in the UI and it also conveniently saves a copy in the Outputs folder located in the main ACE step directory. Yeah. Engine roaring, asphalt hot, street lights blur, ain't gonna stop. Adrenaline in every vein Chasing thrills through wind and rain So boo for thumping, feel the quake Every move the city makes Digital shadows start to creep Concrete jungle secrets keep Crank the volume, let it blast Energy that's built to last In this movement we ignite Hear the streets cut through the night Snare drum cracks, a sharp attack No looking back, ain't turning track Every beat a heavy hit In this rhythm, we don't, we don't quit For those of you who are going the manual install route, setting up the A-Step project is not too difficult either, but it does involve a few more steps. In order to install the project without conflicts, we'll be using Miniconda, a lightweight package manager that helps isolate our project dependencies in its own dedicated environment. This way, it doesn't interfere with any other Python projects you might have running on your system. First, head over to Anaconda's website by typing Miniconda into Google search and clicking on the first link. From there, download the Miniconda installer appropriate for your operating system and install it. Once Miniconda is ready, fire up your Anaconda prompt. You can find this by searching for Anaconda prompt in your menu search bar and clicking on it. Now in the prompt, type the following command to create a dedicated environment for the ASTEP project files. Conda create dash n ASTEP python 3.10 dash y it's Once the environment has been successfully created, you can activate it by typing conda activate ASTEP. You'll notice your command prompt might change slightly with the name of the environment a step now showing to the left of your directory path. This indicates you're in the correct, isolated environment. Also, make sure you have Git installed on your machine. Git is essential for downloading GitHub repositories locally. If you don't have it already, do a quick search on Google for Git download, click on the official gitscm.com link and then download and install Git for your operating system. Once you have Git installed, it's time to clone the ASTEP project's repository to your device. Navigate to the ASTEP GitHub repository, 
I will leave the link for this down in the description below. On the GitHub page, find and copy the repository link. Back in your Anaconda prompt, which should still have the ace step environment activated, type the command git clone and then paste the repository link you just copied and hit enter. This will download the project files. Once you have the project cloned, navigate into the newly created directory by typing the command cd ace step. Now if you are on Windows and plan to use an NVIDIA GPU, it's recommended to install PyTorch with CUDA support first. You can do this using a specific command, which I will also leave linked in the description below for easy access. Once PyTorch with CUDA is installed, if applicable, you can then run the command pip install dash e space period. This command will install all the remaining dependencies that the program needs to run, all within our isolated Conda environment. Once everything is installed, you can start up the ASTEP server by running the command ASTEP port 7865. After running this, you should see some output in the terminal, including a local host URL. Navigate to this URL in your web browser, which should typically be 127.0.0.17865. This will take you directly to the ASTEP Gradio web UI. Once you've done that, you can start generating audio just like we discussed earlier. So there you have it. A look at the incredible new ASTEP music generation model. How to get it installed on your local machine, whether you're using the one-click installer or going the manual route and a walkthrough of how to start generating your own AI-powered music using its web interface. The speed, quality, and flexibility of ASTEP are truly impressive, and the fact that it's open source with an Apache 2 license opens up so many possibilities for creators, musicians, and developers. I encourage you to try it out, experiment with the settings, and see what amazing music you can create. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.